Hello friends, today I will discuss the numerical problem on single phase induction motor. 230 volts, 50 hertz, 4 pole single phase induction motor is rotating in the clockwise direction at a speed of 1420 rpm. Determine the equivalent circuit parameters of the motor. The main winding resistance is 2.5 ohms and the nodal test data is 230 volts, 6.4 amperes, 220 watts. And coming to the blocked rotor test, 82.5 volts, 9.3 amperes, 500 watts. So blocked rotor from the blocked rotor test, we know the formula that Zb is nothing but Vb divided by Ib. So Vb is nothing but uh, here 82.5 volts and Ib is nothing but 9.3 amperes. After simplification, Zb is coming as 8.87 ohms. Similarly, the resistance under blocked rotor condition Rb is given by Wb divided by Ib square. So WB is given as 500 watts divided by IB is given as 9.3, so 9.3 square in the denominator. So after simplification, the rotor resistance under blocked rotor test is 5.78 ohms. So ZB is known, RB is known, so we can calculate what is the reactance under blocked rotor condition that is xb is equal to zb square minus rb square so xb is equal to root of 8.87 whole square minus 5.78 whole square then we get 6.73 ohms as xb and we know from the equivalent circuit Rb is nothing but equal to R1 plus R2 dash. R1 is given in the data. Rb is calculated. R2 dash is nothing but rotor resistance referred to the stator side is given by Rb minus R1. That is 5.78 minus 2.5. Then we get 3.28 ohms. Then we also know x1 is equal to x2 dash is equal to xb by 2. xb is also calculated. So, right here 6.73 divided by 2. Then x1 becomes 3.365 ohms. Then we can write R1 is 2.5 ohms, R2 dash is 3.28 ohms, X1 is equal to X2 dash is equal to 3.365 ohms. Then from the no load test, we know the formula that is Z0 is equal to V0 by I0. V0 is given as uh, 230 in the test data and I0 is also given as 6.4 ampere. So we get here Z0 as 35.93 ohms. Similarly, resistance under no load condition R0 is equal to W0 by I0 square. So, W0 is. So, here we get the resistance under no load condition as 220 divided by 6.4 whole square, then we get 5.37 ohms. Then, reactants. Reactance under no load rotor condition is given by x0 is equal to z0 minus r0 square. r0 is known, z0 also known, so we can calculate x0 as equal, is equal to root of 35.93 whole square minus 5.37 whole square. Then we get 35.526 ohms. And we have seen in the equivalent circuit of the single phase induction motor that Xm by 2 under no load condition is nothing but X0 minus X1 minus X2 dash by 2. So X0 is known, X1 is known, X2 dash also known. So after substituting the values here that is 35.526 
minus 3.365 minus 3.365 by 2 the XM by 2 value will become 30.4785 ohms. So let me summarize this problem. From the block to rotor test, we get first ZB value and then RB value and then we calculate R2 dash using RB and R1 values and then we calculate x1 using the xb value and then we calculate xm by 2 and then we calculate uh, from the no load test z0 value and also r0 and also x0 values.